गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स सो वाट आर हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स द हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एनर्जी रिच कॉम्बाउंड्स सो वाट इज द अदर नेम फॉर हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स द हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स इज दिन ऑल्सो नोन एज एनर्जी रिच कॉम्बाउंड्स सो वाट आर हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स द हाई एनर्जी कॉम्बाउंड्स आर द कॉम्बाउंड्स विच ऑन हाइड्रोलिस yield energy equal to or greater than atp so water high energy compound and high energy compound is a compound which on hydrolysis yields energy which is equal to or greater than atp which is it should yield the energy which is equal to or greater than atp then only a compound will be considered as an high energy compound so the criteria for considering a compound as high energy compound is that it should yield energy on hydrolysis which is equal to or greater than atp that it, it that is it should yield an energy which is greater than minus 7.3 kilo calorie per mole or equal to minus 7.3 kilo calorie per mole so the energy produced by hydrolysis of atp is equal to minus 7.3 kilo calorie per mole so an high energy compound should yield an energy which is greater than or equal to minus 7.3 kilo calorie per mole and those compounds which yield energy less than minus 7.3 kilo calorie per mole are known as low energy compounds so what are high energy compounds the high energy compounds are also known as energy rich compounds and the criteria for deciding a compound to be an high energy compound is that it should yield an energy equal to or greater than atp on hydrolysis that is on hydrolysis a compound should yield an energy of minus 7.3 kilo calorie per mole then only that compound will be considered as a high energy compound if a compound yields an energy less than Minus seven point three kilo calorie per mole. That compound will be considered as a low energy compound. So, I am going to discuss here about the high energy compounds. In a quick turn, high energy compounds. Now, what are they? High energy compounds. In the word, they are energy rich compounds. In the bar, in that. So, one compound. In that, we are high energy compound. That is considered as a high energy compound. In the end. हाइड्रोलिस आंपौंड हाइड्रोलिस ए टी पी हाइड्रोलिस्टर्जीवल एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस अलग अलग कूड़ल एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस अब ए टी पी हाइड्रोलिस्टर्जी माइनस सवन पॉइंट थ्री कलो कलरी पर् मोल अब आनर्जी कमे आंपौि ने कंसीडर हई एनर्जी कोंपौंड कंसीडर अब हई एनर्जी कोंपौंड और कोंपौे कंसीडर क्रैटीरिया यानि पर कोंपौंड हईड्रोलिस्ट अब ए टी पी हईड्रोलिस्टर्जी की इक्वल एनर्जी अलग अल कूड़ल एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस आंपौि ने नई एनर्जी कोंपौंड कंसीडर अब माइनस सवन पॉइंट थ्री कलो कलरी पर् मोल एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस अब और कोंपौंड हाइड्रोलिस्ट माइनस सवन पॉइंट थ्री कलो कलरी पर् मोल एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस नाम कोंपौि ने कंसीडर हई एनर्जी कोंपौंड कंसीडर अब अल कु अब माइनस सवन पॉइंट थ्री कलो कलरी पर् मोल कुनर्जी और कोंपौंड हाइड्रोलिस वही प्रोड्यूस आंपौि ने नाम लो एनर्जी कोंपौंड कंसीडर अब हई एनर्जी कोंपौि वे पेरान एनर्जी रिच कोंपौंड और कोंपौि ने हई एनर्जी कोंपौंड कंसीडर आंपौंड ए टी पी हईड्रोलिस्टर्जीड ईक्वल एनर्जी अलग अल कूल एनर्जी हईड्रोलिस वह प्रोड्यूस आंपौि ने नाम हई एनर्जी कोंपौंड कंसीडर अब माइनस सवन पॉइंट थ्री कलो कलरी पर् मोलि ता एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस कोंपौंडस नामेटा कंसीडर लो एनर्जी कोंपौंडस कंसीडर आि पेक्युलाटी ऑफ हई एनर्जी कोंपौंडस दैट इट कंटेन फोर्स्पेट ग्रूप 
except acetyl CoA, hence they are called high energy phosphate. So, uh, um, so the high energy compounds are also known as high energy phosphates because they contain phosphate group except acetyl CoA. So, what are the two names of high energy compounds? The two names of high energy compounds are energy rich compounds and high energy phosphates. So why are the, why are high energy compounds known as high energy phosphates? Because all, all the high energy compounds contain phosphate group except acetyl CoA. So they are also known as high energy phosphates. So what are the two names of high energy compounds? The two names of high energy compounds are energy rich compounds and high energy phosphates. They are also known as high energy phosphates because they can they contain phosphate group except acetyl CoA. They contains the high energy compounds contains high energy bonds which yield high which yields energy upon hydrolysis. So what type of bonds are present in high energy compounds? The high energy compounds consist of high energy bonds which yield energy on hydrolysis. So the uh, peculiarity or the uh, importance of the high energy compounds is that it contains high energy bonds which yields energy on hydrolysis. And these high energy bonds are notated by a sigil symbol. And who invented this notation? Fritz Albert Lippmann invented this notation. So high energy compounds are the compounds which contain high energy bonds and these high energy bonds can be represented by a symbol known as Kugel and this notation or this uh, symbol was founded by Fritz Lip Albert Lippmann. So what are the peculiarities of high energy compounds? High energy compounds are also known as energy rich compounds or high energy phosphates because they contain phosphate group except acetyl CoA and what are high energy compounds they are the compounds which produce energy equivalent to or greater than ATP on hydrolysis and what type of bond is present in high energy compound the high energy compound consists of high energy bonds which yield high energy on hydrolysis and it is represented by a squiggle symbol which is uh, which is uh, given by Fritz Albert Lippmann. So next we will look into the classification of high energy compounds. The high energy compounds are classified into mainly five groups. They are pyrophosphates, enol phosphates, acyl phosphates, thiol phosphates and gondophosphates or phosphagens. So what is the classification of high energy compounds? High energy compounds are classified into pyrophosphates, enol phosphates, acyl phosphates, thiol phosphates and gynodino phosphates or phosphagen. First we will look into the first class of high energy compound that is pyrophosphates. The pyrophosphates consist of the high energy bonds known as acid and hydride bond. So the pyrophosphates consist of high energy bond known as acid and hydride bond. As the name denotes acid and hydride. So there is an acid in that name. So the uh, it consists of it is formed by the condensation of acid groups or its derivatives. So what type of high energy bond is present in pyrophosphate? The pyrophosphate consists of acid and hydride bond. So the name acid and hydride. So it is formed by the condensation of acid groups. Example like mainly phosphoric acid group or its derivatives. So Pyrophosphate consists of high energy bond, acid and hydride bond and this acid and hydride bond as the name denotes is formed by the condensation of acid groups or um, mainly pyrophosphates or, and its derivatives. Example of pyrophosphate is very prominent example is ATP 
and it is a very important example and it has two and two energy diphosphate bond or phospho anhydride bond so it consists of two phospho anhydride bond so the an important example of a pyrophosphate is atp which consists of two phospho anhydride bond so what are pyrophosphate the pyrophosphate is the first class of high energy compound and the high energy bond present in pyrophosphate is acid anhydride bond as the name denotes acid so it is formed by the condensation of acid groups mainly phosphoric acid and its derivatives and an example for pyrophosphate is atp and it consists of two phospho anhydride bond or two high energy bond appo nammal അടുത്ത പഠിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ക്ലാസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഹൈ എനർജി കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് ആണ് അപ്പോൾ ഹൈ എനർജി കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സിനെ നമ്മൾ അഞ്ചായിട്ടാണ് ക്ലാസിഫൈ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഏതൊക്കെയാണത് ഫസ്റ്റ് പയറോഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് രണ്ടാമത്തത് ഈനോൾ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് മൂന്നാമത്തത് അസൈൽ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് നാലാമത്തത് തായോൾ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് അഞ്ചാമത്തത് ഗാനുഡോ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ഓർ ഫോസ്ഫാജൻ അപ്പോൾ ആദ്യം നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് പയറോഫോസ്ഫേറ്റാണ് അപ്പോൾ പയറോഫോസ്ഫേറ്റിലുള്ള ഹൈ എനർജി ബോണ്ടാണ് ആസിഡ് എൻഹൈഡ്രേഡ് ബോണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഈ ആസിഡ് എൻഹൈഡ്രേഡ് ബോണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ആ പേരൊന്ന് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക അപ്പോൾ പേരിൽ ആസിഡ് എൻഹൈഡ്രേഡ് എന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഒരു ആസിഡ് അവിടെ ഉണ്ട് ആദ്യം തന്നെ തുടക്കത്തിൽ ഒരു ആസിഡ് എന്ന വേർഡ് അവിടെ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അത് ഫോം ചെയ്യുക എങ്ങനെയാണ് ആസിഡിക് ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സിൻ്റെ കണ്ടൻസേഷൻ വഴിയാണ് എന്ത് ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആസിഡ് എൻഹൈഡ്രേഡ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ ആസിഡ് എൻഹൈഡ്രേഡ് ബോണ്ടാണ് പൈറോഫോസ്ഫേറ്റിലെ ഹൈ എനർജി ബോണ്ട് അത് ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആസിഡിക് ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആസിഡ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സിൻ്റെ കണ്ടൻസേഷൻ വഴിയാണ് മെയിൻലി ഫോസ്ഫോറിക് ആസിഡാണ് പിന്നെ അതിൻ്റെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു എക്സാമ്പിളാണ് എ ടി പി എ ടി പിക്ക് എത്ര ഒരു ഹൈ എനർജി ബോണ്ടുണ്ട് രണ്ട് ഹൈ എനർജി ബോണ്ട് നോൺ എസ് ഫോസ്ഫോ എൻഹൈഡ്രേറ്റ് ബോണ്ട് എ ടി പിൻ്റെ ഫുൾ ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാം അഡിനോസിൻ ട്രൈ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ എ ടി പി ഹൈ എനർജി കോമ്പോണൻറ്റ് എങ്ങനെ ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതെന്ന് നമ്മൾ അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ്സിൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് പഠിക്കും The second class of high energy compound is enol phosphate. The bond present here is enol phosphate bond. So enol phosphate consists of enol phosphate bond. And it is formed when phosphate group attached to a hydroxyl group which is bounded to a carbon atom having double bond. So look into the figure. how the enol phosphate bond is formed you can see that a phosphate group is attached to a carbon atom containing hydroxyl group co co you can see a co and other part will be an h so it is coh to the coh phosphate group is attached and also this carbon atom contains a double bond as you can see the carbon atom is attached to ch2 group by a double bond so how the enol phosphates are formed enol phosphate is formed by attachment of phosphate group to a carbon atom containing hydroxyl group so phosphate group is attached to coh and also this carbon atom contains a double bond you can see c is attached to ch2 by a double bond example for phospho uh, enol phosphate is phospho enol pyruvate so the uh, high energy bond present in enol phosphate is enol phosphate bond so it is very easy you can easily remember the enol phosphate consists of enol phosphate high energy bond and how this enol phosphate high energy bond is formed it is formed by the attachment of phosphate group to the carbon atom containing an hydroxyl group that is you can see a phosphate group is attached to coh group a uh, phosphate group is attached to carbon atom containing oh group coh and it also should contain a double bond and you can see a c carbon atom is attached to ch2 by a double bond an example for enol phosphate is phospho enol pyruvate you know this phospho enol pyruvate already you have you had studied in your biochemistry class or in your microbial metabolism class phosphenol pyruvate is an important part of which cycle glycolysis so you will be learning glycolysis in your biochemistry paper in detail so you know the phosphenol pyruvate is an high energy compound coming from glycolysis 
so enol phosphate enol phosphates consist of what type of bond it is easy to remember it contains enol phosphate high energy bond and how enol phosphate high energy bond is formed it is formed by the attachment of phosphate to a uh, carbon atom containing hydroxyl group that is cohp and this carbon atom is attached to other carbon atom by a double bond the example is pp or phosphenol pyruvate which we will derive from glycolysis next class of high energy compound is acyl phosphate acyl phosphate is 13 bisphosphoglycerate so the example of acyl phosphate is 13 bisphosphoglycerate which also comes from glycolysis if you remember the glycolysis you can easily identify this compounds so uh, the 13 bisphosphoglycerate is an example for acyl phosphate so how this acyl phosphate are formed it consists of a high energy bond formed by reaction of a carboxylic acid group you can see in the figure in the first carbon so uh, you look into the figure you can see in the first carbon it consists of carboxylic acid group c double bond o you can see a c double bond o group and attached to it you can see a phosphate group op o 2 uh, 3 uh, op o 3 2 minus you can see a um, a phosphate group attached to it in a red ink so how acyl phosphate are formed acyl phosphate are formed by the attachment of phosphate group to a carboxylic acid group so it occurs between the reaction between carboxylic acid group and a phosphate group so acyl phosphate are the third class of high energy compound the example of high energy compound is uh, uh, example of acyl phosphate is 13 bisphosphoglycerate which also comes from glycolysis and how it is formed is that it consists of a carboxylic acid group in this figure in it is it is in the first carbon it consists of carboxylic acid group that is c double bond o attached to it there is a phosphate group which is indicated in red inks the monomatte high energy compound and acyl phosphate appa acyl phosphate in the example aanu 13 bisphosphoglycerate appo idu evadu nanu verunathu glycolysis nanu verunathu appo idu enganeyanu form cheyunna chalu ee phosphate group carboxylic acid group inodu attach cheyittaanu endu verunathu acyl phosphate form cheyunathu appo ningalku figure nokki kaiya kaanam appo carbon atom 1 ile endund oru oru carboxylic acid group undu oru c double bond ओ निणा अदर कार्बोक्सिलिक आसीड ग्रूप अोड अटाच फोस्पेट ग्रूप अब फोस्पेट ग्रूप इंडिकेट रेड कलर अब रेड कलर निर्णपेट ग्रूप अटाच आसीड ग्रूप अब ई कार्बोक्सिलिक आसीड ग्रूप फोस्पेट ग्रूप तमिल रियाक्ट असैल फोस्पेट फोम मनसो असैल फोस्पेट फोम कार्बोक्सिलिक आसीड ग्रूप phosphate group reactate fourth class of high energy compound is thiol phosphate here high energy phosphate bond is absent instead high energy high en energy thioester bond is present so name of the fourth class of high energy compound is thiol phosphate as the name indicates it consists of thiol high energy thioester bond so thiol phosphate consists of high energy thiol ester bond so the name of the fourth class of the high energy compound is thiol phosphate as the name indicates it consists of high energy bond thiol ester high energy bond and it, it uh, and the high energy phosphate bond is absent in the case of thiol ester bond or thiol phosphate i had already told in the first section that all all the high energy compounds consist of high energy phosphate bond except acetyl coa so the example for thiol phosphate is acetyl coa so how this thiol phosphate bond or thioester bond is formed thioester bond result from a reaction between a thiol group 
thiol group is SCO, SCOA, that is S coenzyme A, that is sulfur attached to coenzyme A and carboxylic acid group you can see a c double bond o so scoa or thiol group is attached to a carboxylic acid group that is c double bond o so what are thiol phosphate thiol phosphate as the name indicates contains thiol ester bond so thiol for thiol phosphate as the name indicates contains thiol ester bond and they lack high energy phosphate bond so instead of high energy phosphate bond the thiol phosphate consists of thioester bond and an important example for a uh, thioester bond or thio uh, thiophosphate is acetyl coa you know where are the regions where you can find acetyl coa acetyl coa is present in which all cycles you can see acetyl coa in carboxylic acid cycle or tca cycle it is present in many biochemical pathways etc and how it is formed it is formed by an a reaction between a thiol group that is s s uh, that is sulfur attached to a coenzyme a is known as thiol group that is scoa with the carboxylic acid group you can see in the figure it is the structure of acetyl coa you can see the scoa or thiol group is attached to a carboxylic acid group that is c double bond o so thiol phosphate as the name indicates contains which which bond thioester bond and how this uh, thioester bond is formed it is formed by the reaction between thiol group and carboxylic acid group example is acetyl coa the last class of high energy compound is known as gonadino phosphates it is also known as phosphagens the bond is known as gonadin phosphate group so gonadino phosphates consist of high energy bond gonadin phosphates bond and it is formed by an attachment of phosphate group to gonadin group so how it is formed it is formed by the attachment of the phosphate group by to gonadin group the name itself indicates the structure of the uh, structure of the bond that is gonadino phosphate so it is formed by attachment of phosphate group to the gonadin group and it is most important compound with this bond in phosphocreatine so example of a gonadino phosphate is phosphocreatine so what are gonadino phosphate gonadino phosphate are the fifth or fifth and the last class of high energy compound it also known as phosphagens and as the name indicates gonadino phosphates as the name indicates it consists of phosphate group attached to a gonadin group an example is phosphocreatine so the name of the fifth class itself indicates the type of compounds present in it that is gonadino phosphate so it consists of phosphate group attached to a gonadin group and uh, it is also known as phosphagens example is phosphocreatine so these are the uh, different bonds or the five classes of high energy compounds and the bonds in them with examples this already we had discussed already we discussed all these things uh, there are some additional examples which you can learn from this table so the additional examples are pyrophosphate for pyrophosphates and carbamyl phosphate for acyl phosphate pep already we discussed acyl coa for thio thiol esters and for gonadino phosphate it consists of phosphoarginine besides phosphocreatine so in this class we had discussed about what are high energy compounds and what are their properties and what are the criteria for selecting a compound as high energy compounds and we discussed five classes of high energy compounds with examples and what are the high energy bonds present in them and how they are formed so you should learn what are a uh, definition of high energy compounds and their classes and the, in these classes you should uh, mention what type of bond is present and how it is formed with the examples so in next class we will discuss how atp act as an 
energy currency of this cell or how ATP act as a high energy compound. Thank you.